An estimated 41,000 Americans are affected by a neurodegenerative disorder. It's called Huntington's disease. And more than 200,000 are at risk of inheriting that disease as well. In our health report today, we're taking a closer look at the causes and how experts are now helping patients better cope. Laura Campbell is the third generation on the maternal side of her family to be diagnosed with Huntington's disease. But facing the reality that she had a 50% chance of developing the condition was still a struggle for both Laura and her husband, Chris. So how it worked is you would see a symptom and then you would try to forget the symptom. You would see a symptom, then you'd say, no, that's probably just something else. So you make up excuses until the very end and then until you can't anymore. And that's how families deal with Huntington's disease. Dr. Henry Moore says we all carry the Huntington gene, but the disease is the result of a mutation that causes abnormal proteins to accumulate in the brain and damage cells. Uh, the symptomatology is interesting because even though you are born with a mutation, uh, the symptomatology usually occurs between your 40s and your 50s, and then one starts continuously progress through your life. Symptoms include involuntary movements, poor balance, psychiatric issues like depression and anxiety, and changes in cognition that affect concentration and attention. The, the disease manifests differently. Some patients may have more involuntary movements uh, as part of the disease. Some others may have more psychiatric presentations. Some others may have cognitive dysfunction even early on in the disease. While there is no cure for this progressive disease, the doctor says there are therapies that can help with some of the symptoms. There is nothing approved that may slow down Huntington's at this point, but there are interesting research uh, with medications. Chris says medication has greatly helped Laura and allowed them both to live their life to the fullest in the time they have together. We always had it in our back pocket that this was going to occur. So what we tried to do before she became symptomatic is I sat down with Laura and we made a bucket list and we hit everything on that list. We have um, about four families that um, are all really close and know my condition and help me along with everything. I feel like um, I take one day at a time. A lovely couple and research into Huntington's is focusing on ways to prevent the gene from making that abnormal protein that damages the brain. If successful, that could ultimately slow down the progression of this disease and maybe even prevent it altogether.